project manager, uh, it, was, it, was, it was a great challenge to be given the crane to introduce into our design brief. And I think the design team responded uh, brilliantly to the challenge. Very exciting project. Uh, to master plan the port centre, to pick up on the aspirations of the port 2040 master plan, which is about encouraging permeability, taking down some of the walls and the obstacles that might have emerged over, evolved, I suppose, over decades and decades and decades. We were lucky halfway through the project to inherit a piece of uh, maritime artifact in the form of the Stoddard and Pitt crane. We embarked on reassembling that crane and siting it in a location which would mark the entrance, or the new entrance to the port, which will be at the head of Sheriff Street. We had to make this a landmark. We had to make a statement about it in terms of its industrial heritage, but also in terms of how it will be viewed by the public and how it can be seen uh, along the Port City interface. And I think the design team have risen to that challenge magnificently. I worked on it for 20 years, and uh, myself, Paddy Paisley and Tony Ford were the last three crime men in the port. The dark from the past, like, you know, it's back, it goes back into your memory, climbing up into the crane and that, and it was, all the memories come back to you and that, you know. It looks very well now. It's been um, a real game changer for the project, marking the new Dublin port that's permeable, open to the public, and for the public to come and enjoy.